did we? Well, it is a very important time when a witch or a wizard is given an opportunity to come before the Dark Lord himself. The Dark Lord himself. I hope that you understand how important this time is in your life right now. Well, no doubt you are familiar with me. You address me as Mr. Malfoy, not Lucius. You address the Dark Lord, he who shall not be named as the Dark Lord. Otherwise, I'm sure you won't be leaving here when he arrives. Well, right now, you are in the Malfoy Manor, my establishment. The Dark Lord chose me to use his headquarters here at Malfoy Manor. And of course, being a prestigious wizard such as myself, I agreed to have the Dark Lord and host him here whenever he wishes. So it is a privilege that you have been brought here in my house. I myself have been a Death Eater for many years now and a loyal follower, follower of the Dark Lord. Well, ask any of the other Death Eaters and I'm sure they will tell you that Lucius Malfoy is his right hand man, not of the any of the other Death Eaters. Certainly not Bellatrix. Certainly not any of them. And certainly not you. And don't think for one moment that you becoming a Death Eater will automatically mean that you will be visiting my manor and be in the Dark Lord's presence, because I assure you, it won't happen like that. You, at the moment, are at the lowest ranks of being a Death Eater. Well, you know what being a Death Eater is. This is quite embarrassing. A Death Eater is someone who follows the Dark Lord and does his bidding without question, who is a powerful dark wizard. We, his loyal followers, do anything he wishes without question. Do not question the Dark Lord, do not look him directly in the eye for more than five seconds, and sadly do not smile at him when he arrives. Now the process is quite, quite simple. Proven that you are not a spy of some sort. Order of the Phoenix, are you? the Dark Lord will find out. Though, the initiation is quite simple. All you have to do is hold out your arm in front of the Dark Lord. He will then proceed to pull out his wand. You will hold out your arm like so, like this. When you hold out your arm, make sure that it is presented in a straight manner, like this. Along here, 
so the Dark Lord can access your arm perfectly as he wishes. Then the Dark Lord will ask you some questions, which only you will be able to answer at that moment in time. You will have your arm presented like this. In front of the Dark Lord, you will roll up your sleeve fully, and the Dark Lord, providing that you have answered his questions and you have fully pledged your loyalty towards him and been a loyal follower, he will whip out his wand. You will put it on your arm and he will say the spell. You will feel, no doubt, a burning sensation as the Death Eater Mark is then starting to appear and mold its way onto your arm. And this will only take a few moments, but you will certainly feel it, that's for sure, when that is happening, when your arm is out fully. Do not cower in front of the Dark Lord. He will most certainly see this as a weakness, and you will be escorted out the Malfoy Manor. Probably not the same way you came in. No doubt you will be escorted out by other Death Eaters that we have posted outside. Or you might be escorted out by Nagini, his snake. So, certainly do not cower in front of the Dark Lord on this precious moment. So, remember, I will talk you through the process so we make sure we get it right. And I think you do will be a bad reflection upon me, Lucius. The Death Eaters I present before the Dark Lord must make sure they have the correct manners. And if you're not doing it right, then of course that's a bad reflection. Hold out your arm, like so. Keep it straight along here. Present it in front of the Dark Lord. Roll up your sleeve. He will in turn pull out his wand. He will place his wand on your arm. He will ask you the questions he needs to ask. He will speak the spell. And then the Death Eater Mark will start to appear and burn its way on to your arm. This, after this process has done, you may stand up, bow before the Dark Lord, and he will tell you what to do next. Once you have the Dark Mark, forever you will be a Death Eater. So make sure that you are fully committed to everything that he who must not be named instructs you to do. You may consider yourself as a pure blood. Your pure blood family history doesn't even come close to mine and the Malfoys. We have all been part of Slytherin at Hogwarts for generations. What happened to you when you got sorted? Slytherin, no doubt. Good. We don't want to hear you were part of any other of those houses, Gryffindor, the so-called brave. Hufflepuff. Weak. Ravenclaw. Confused, conflicted. None of these houses are any good for Hogwarts. It should be Slytherin. Regardless of what house you are, you need to begin to 
relax and make sure that you are not nervous in front of the Dark Lord. He will sense this. This is most unorthodox. I certainly do not want a Death Eater who is about to be initiated by the Dark Lord who is on his way to be cowardly, especially in my house. Okay. I'm going to try to help you with your slight dilemma here. Is there a way that you can relax? Of course, you cannot take any potions, and I certainly can't put you under the Imperious Curse as much as I would like to right now, just so you could present yourself properly in front of the Dark Lord in a manner that I wish though he will know. So, we have a couple of things here which might put you at ease knowing that you are about to be initiated as a Death Eater. Well, you may notice my fireplace over there. Notice that it is quite relaxing. The crackling of the wood, the snapping, almost as if ones are delivering the killing curse and it's snapping to other wizards, enemies of the Dark Lord. Very relaxing. Perhaps if I turned the color of the fire and made a little bit of crackling noises that might relax you a little bit more. You think that might help? It could make those sounds which might relax you. Also, I could turn it green so you might feel a little bit more at ease, almost as if you were in your house at Hogwarts. Make it go green and give off a nice relaxing slithern, 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 slithern. And by turning it green, it will give off a nice relaxing slithern ambiance, something which I'm sure, being an avid slithern house member, which I'm sure you were loyal cunning. Perhaps that might relax you. And how about those relaxing crackling sounds? Would that relax you a little bit as well? No doubt it would. about that. I take that sound and I'll move it from your left ear over to your right ear. And that in turn might make you feel a little bit relaxed with the sounds transferring between one side of your face to the other side of your face and might help that very plain look you have in your face right now. A look that doesn't seem strong, confident, superior. A disturbing look of guilt. This will not do. So why don't I get the sound of the crackling fire there? now in my one let me put it on your right ear there the 
Is that sounding good? Remember, relax and focus in front of the Dark Lord. Feel relaxed and he no doubt will feel your confidence and in turn will reward you with the status of being a Death Eater, a loyal follower. Why don't we take that from that ear? The sound is in my wand. Let's put it on your left side now. starting to look a little bit more relaxed. This is what we want. Try to envision that what I told you with the arm out. Familiarize yourself by all means. Give it a go right now. Show me. When I ask you to do something in my house, I expect you to do it without question. Show me. Relax. That's right. Do it your left hand. That's right. And then... Dark Lord will come along. So we go back to normal. Okay. Well, you do look a little bit more relaxed. Although not as relaxed as I would wish you to be right now. My son Draco is more relaxed than you. And he's at school with Potter. So, try to relax just a little bit more. I have something which you might be familiar with. So, what is it you would do at Slytherin?
to gain knowledge and power. You would study and you would write down your spells on some parchment. So, would you be using one of these? You would be using one of these right here. Well, how about we make some parchment noises for you to relax to here. Just relax with this parchment quill here. Let the quill relax you. Pretend in the vision that you are in Slytherin, writing down your curses, your spells, those things you shouldn't learn, yet you found out in the restricted section. Of course, perhaps, just relax to those thoughts. servant, the Dark Lord, the most powerful wizard ever that has ever lived. We will you pledge your allegiance to the Dark Lord without question. He will then ask you some personal questions, which I do not know, but make sure you answer them correctly. And then you will. Very good. So, you seem to have the technique there. You seem to be looking a little bit more relaxed. But I want you looking confident, inspired. A Slytherin is always strong. So shall you be. Maybe I should get a parchment here. Perhaps you wish to write something on this parchment. Something which might find relaxing. Pull out your wand. Write something on there. You 
somewhat unable to how embarrassing the Dark Lord I'm sure will pick up on your skills as a Death Eater you are nothing compared to the strength of Malfoy Lucius Malfoy you are unable to write anything on there You are no Lucius Malfoy. You're just some wizard which no doubt won't amount to much. Though I'm sure you won't have your uses among the ranks. Well, just enjoy the papery sounds of the parchment. Listen to the parchment that's out there. Bring the parchment in here. Just try listening to the parchment paper sounds. Relax a little bit more. Whilst you relax, I will show you the technique again so it is embedded in your memory. Focused on 